Hello guys, this is a video for the Peugeot 207, 206, 106, most of the petrol engines. This one's 2007, but this covers most of these engines. And this video is on a misfire on the engine. The main cause of misfire can be the fuel, which is fuel injector, or problem with the fuel filter. They can have a problem with your spark plugs, you can have a problem with your coil. But this one actually scanned it, it comes up with the misfire on a combustion number two. Now, very important thing on this engine is usually you count one, two, three, four. But on this engine, you count it from the other side, not from the cam belt side. So this is set number one, two, three, four. So if it came up with number two, it's gonna that means in normal way it will be number three, which is this one. But anyway, it comes up when the system is number two. So that will be that one there. That one. I'm gonna show you quickly how to remove everything. You might know it already, but I just want to show you. You will have the that in there. Which comes out quite easily. You're gonna have all the wiring plugged in. You just unplug it all by pressing it in. Unplug that. Unplug all the plugs that are gonna go in there, in there, and one in there. They're gonna remove two 10mm bolts and then you pull that out, your coil. Mostly the main cause for this, obviously you can have the problem with your head gasket, but then you're gonna be either losing coolant or oil and you'll have a smoke out coming out from your exhaust or oily coolant but most of the times, probably 80% of the times, it's always an injector in my case so I've took it out already, as you can see so like I said, you take the coil out after you took the coil out, you'll have to remove this plate here it goes there with three Torx screws and you will have to undo that 10 mil nut to release this plate they're gonna have another 10 mil on top of it that goes that holds that and then you're gonna have two torques this one and this one holding the injectors in there see so and do them get them out just a little ones get them out and I would suggest you to take the plugs out and check them because this plug, which is obviously number two, uh, was quite wet, had a lot of fuel on it, which is quite a good example that is the fuel injector that's messing about. So I got a new fuel injector. That's what they look like. They're quite easy to fit. What I will advise when you're removing the fuel line after you disconnect the plug on the back, which is quite easy. It's right there in the middle, you can get your hand behind and disconnect it, it's very easy. But before removing it, before disconnecting the fuel supply, I would suggest you to just release the pressure on the system. All you have to do is undo this, turn it around with that little dot there, press it in but have a bit of blue roll to catch all the fuel and it will release the pressure. It saves you getting all the fuel pressure spraying out when you're disconnecting this pipe which is that one there so make sure you got enough blue roll to get all the fuel, you don't want the bloody sink going on fire once you've done that, obviously to replace the injector you need to remove this little clip off which is quite easy to understand how to remove it and then you remove the plug at the back press it in, remove it get the new injector out, I will suggest you to put either a bit of grease, rubber grease, or a bit of oil on the seals, on both of them, and make sure while you got this off, you check all the seals, because this one, going to need new, two new seals, because someone's been prattling about with this, this one's damaged, and this one's completely fucked, so I have to put two new seals on it, and new injector, once you've done that, you have to put them back, in the hole there, clean it up, make sure it's all clean and like I said, put a bit of grease and squeeze it back in but slowly, you have to work your way in you can remove this without removing the manifold you have to turn, you have to push it down and work the way out 
it's very easy, you've got enough space, trust me. So once you've done that, you obviously have to plug everything back in, get the fuel line back in, plug all your connectors, all your plugs, everything back in, bolt everything back on, make sure everything's tight, double check everything, and then delete the fault codes if you've got the diagnostic machine, or if not, you can always disconnect the battery for two minutes, then connect it back in, just make sure your door is open while you're doing that, or the window, because you can lock the car when you disconnect the battery. Do that, and then start the car up, let it run for a while, because sometimes if you've got too much fuel there, it will need to burn it out, and hopefully that will fix your problem with your injector guys, or with your misfire. But for any more help, please give me a shout, I'm more than happy to help you guys, as you've seen before in my videos, I'm trying to answer everyone as soon as I can, and give as many examples as I can. I work pretty much on all the makes, so if you got any problems, just please let me know, and I'll sort you out guys. And if this was helpful for you, please subscribe, like my videos, comment below, and share it with your friends. Alright guys, hope you enjoy your day, and good luck, stay safe please, bye.